Lesson 108 has two parts. The first part is on formulas and the second part is on distributive property. Now there's some formulas on page 500 that you should memorize. So make sure you do that. Something to think about here is that formulas, those are like evaluate problems. Like the problems we did in lesson 106. You're just substituting numbers in place of the letters. Let's go ahead and do some practice problems. I want you to find the area of this triangle in problem A. Well, the first thing you need to do is find the formula for the area of a triangle. And that is area equals base times height divided by 2. That's the formula for the area of a triangle. That's in that table in this lesson. So what you do is you just substitute in. The base of that triangle is the bottom of it. That's what the B stands for. So that's 8. Its height, that's that dashed line perpendicular to the base. That's showing how tall that triangle is. It's 3 inches tall. So we say 8 times 3 divided by 2. Now let's evaluate that expression. We would say 8 times 3 is 24 divided by 2. So now we just do 24 divided by 2. That's splitting 24 in half. So that would be 12. And let's just write that down here. 12, and we would say square inches. 12 square inches is the area of that triangle. So formulas are like evaluate problems. We just substitute the numbers in where the letters are in that formula. The one difference between a formula and an expression that we evaluate is a formula has an equal sign and it's representing a particular thing like A for area equals BH over 2, base times height over 2. Look at B. I've shown a square there with a side of 3 centimeters. What is its perimeter and what's its area? Well, let's just get our formulas first and let's just write those down. The perimeter of a square, the formula is 4s. 4 times the length of a side. All the sides are the same length on a square, right? So we know the perimeter is just 4 times the length of one side. Since all four sides are the same, we could just do 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, but it's the same thing as saying 4 times s. So we just say 4 times 3 equals 12 centimeters. Substitute that 3 in for the s. Now the area is equal to s squared. Side times side is the same thing as side squared. So we're just doing 3 times 3 or 3 squared which equals 9. So in a problem like that that has an exponent just leave it all the same. Just Put the 3 in where the s was, and then you still have the squared value there. 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9 square centimeters. Formulas are like evaluate problems. You just substitute the numbers in for the letters in the formula. Just make sure you know what the letters stand for. Rectangles, you usually have L for length and W for width. Squares, you have S for a side. All the sides are the same, so you just call them all S. Triangles, B for the base, H for that height perpendicular to the base, how tall the triangle is. Let's go on to the second part of this lesson on what's called the distributive property. Now, Maybe you notice in that table in this lesson that there are two formulas for the perimeter of a rectangle. They have P equals 2 parentheses L plus W and they also have P equals 2 L plus 2 W. Now let's say that L equaled 5 and W equaled 2. I mean, you would think that both of those perimeter formulas would give you the same answer. Let's just see. The first one, we'd have 2 times 
5 plus 2 or 2 times 7 equals 14 and the second one we'd have 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 times 2 is 4 that also equals 14 so we get the same answer either way so what that means then is 2 parentheses L plus W equals 2L plus 2W. And that right there, that's an example of the distributive property. Look at what happened there. Do you see the pattern? 2 times L. So there was multiplication there. Plus 2 times W, another multiplication. That's how you got the 2L plus 2W. That's why they're the same. You're distributing the 2 over the L and the W. Look at C. I want you to use the distributive property to do that multiplication. Don't just do 3 times 29. Do the distributive property. So that means do 3 times 20. That would be 60 plus 3 times 9. That would be 27. And that equals 87. So something to consider here. When you have a number, or it could be a letter too, outside parentheses like that, there's no operation symbol there. There's no plus or minus or multiplication or division symbol right where I put that green arrow. There's nothing there. There's just three and a parentheses. When you see that, know that you can do the distributive property. Know that it means multiplication. There's no symbol there. It means multiplication. You're doing three times 20 plus three times nine or two times L plus two times W. You distribute that number on the outside of parentheses over the other two numbers by doing multiplication. Multiplying both of them or all of them, however many. There doesn't have to just be two. There could be 15 numbers added together inside the parentheses. You'd still multiply all of them by that value outside the parentheses. Okay, well that's all for lesson 108.